How's everybody doing? This Four Corner Oddity. Thought I'd give you an update and some information about what I've been doing lately. Well, these are the commissioners here in the Four Corners area. Pretty much, uh, Farmington is a Republican town. And they view us natives uh, automatically as Democrats, so uh, I don't vote anyway, so, you know, that's their thoughts. I already know this, you know, I know how this town town is with the, all these Republicans, especially when they, when their reservation is located right next, right out of town, starting from on the west side of Farmington, north, I mean south and west, that's where the re reservation starts. But these are the commissioners and their districts. And I submitted a complaint on Sarah Fields, the manager who called the Sheriff's Department on me and they referred me to Hector H. Belter's Attorney General and this is the letter that he sent back to me and the information that he gave me So he told me to contact the disciplinary board of the New Mexico Supreme Court, which I did. There's a signature for the online complaint form here in New Mexico. Debra Segova. So I fill out the complaint form to the to the dis disciplinary board, and this is uh, what I got back. They say they investigated it, but, you know, here's what I got back from after they say they investigated it. This is the disciplinary board. This is their address. And these are their, their phone number. See you guys. It says, Dear Mr. Chi, the Office of Disciplinary Council has investigated your complaint against Sarah, F Sarah E. Field, which have found insufficient evidence to support allegations that she has violated the rules of professional conduct. You are not a client of Mrs. Fields. Instead, you describe yourself as a First Amendment auditor. which Wikipedia describes follows. First Amendment audits are largely an American social movement that usually involves photographing or filming from public spaces 
It is often categorized by its pr <coughs> practitioner known as auditors as activism and, and citizen journalism that test constitutional rights, in particular the right to photograph and video record in public spaces. Auditors believe that the movement promotes transparency and open government. In that guys, you you conduct what you call a First Amendment audit of Aztec Public Defender's Office, of which Miss Phil is the managing attorney. He alleged that Miss Phil failed to co cooperate and that she called the sheriff's office, which resulted in your arrest and criminal misdemeanor charges against you. He seemed to allege that Mrs. Field should have not have allowed you full access to the office and should not have called the law enforcement. Mrs. Field responds that she attempted to help you to no avail, that she refused to allow you to video the office as confidential materials were in sight, and that you refused to leave after she asked you to. We have no evidence that she violated any rules of professional conduct. Thus, the disciplinary board will take no further action if you don't understand the reason why for the dismissal and wish to have decision to dismiss this complaint reviewed by the chair of the disciplinary board. You may submit a written request for review to this office if the chair feels <coughs> That additional investigation is warranted. She will, she will order that to, that the file be re reopened for that purpose. The chair authority does not, however, extend to ordinary that disciplinary action be taken. And there's the signature. By the way, these guys are pretty much unprofessional. They say that they don't they don't work under the state or the federal. And nobody can't tell them what to do. So what they did is, it seems like what I'm understanding is they didn't even investigate. They just asked their questions. And I told them what, was, uh, what my video name was and <clears throat> my channel name. And I guess they s decided not to watch it and just go by what she said. And sounds like Mr. Sarah Field is still being unprofessional and she doesn't even need to be be in this office at all with her lying and stuff like that saying that I was asking her for full access into the whole facility I wasn't even <coughs> close to you know videotaping any paperwork at all as you guys can see in my video but I go back to court on the 5th of next month and that's why I just wanted to inform you guys about what what I've been up to. So, yeah, the disciplinary board, you know, I feel not doing their job at all, you know, by investigating this property. And me, me myself, I've, I've been working like seven days a week, and I also coach the youth here in Farmington, so I've been busy, busy. Now it's back to... You know, softball season, and but if you guys want to voice your concerns to the disciplinary board, because it's all on video, you know, <laughs> the interaction I had over at uh, Aztec Public Defender's Office was with the public servants there being unprofessional, and this is what I get back saying that she said I was asking for full access to the whole facility. And she was saying I was, <clears throat> that there was, you know, private paperwork out in the public that I was trying to film, get on video. <clears throat> but, you know, this, this is how they, <clears throat> they run their government system here in, in Mexico. Very unprofessional. Okay, I thought I'd just give you guys an update, so. <clears throat> well, see you guys later.